Ever since the dawn of civilization, people have speculated how the end of the world might come about. Here are 10 ways in which the world might end. 10. Asteroid Impact Most scientists agree that it was an asteroid impact that wiped out the dinosaurs. The chances that mankind will go the same way is relatively high. Although asteroid impacts are statistically more likely to occur over oceans or in unpopulated areas, it doesn't really give much confidence, as with a large enough asteroid, it wouldn't really matter where it landed. An asteroid over half a mile wide hits Earth on average every 250,000 years. An asteroid this large would cause large fires and the dust sent into the atmosphere would block out the sun, resulting in rapid cooling of the planet. An asteroid over five miles wide could easily wipe out all life on Earth. Nine. Rogue black holes. We've all heard of black holes, the corpses of collapsed stars with gravity so strong that they swallow everything, even the light that would give away their presence. At best guess, there are estimated to be 10 million black holes in the Milky Way galaxy. They orbit just like other stars, but what if one was to break its orbit and become rogue? There would be little warning if one were headed towards us. Being invisible, the only signs would be the effect that the gravitational pull had on nearby objects as it drifted past. The black hole wouldn't have to come directly into contact with Earth to cause our ruin. If one entered the solar system, it could change the orbit of Earth which would cause extreme climate change. It could even knock us out of orbit altogether, leaving the planet drifting in deep space. 8. Giant Solar Flares Giant solar flares, or coronal mass ejections to give them their proper name, are massive magnetic outbursts on the Sun that pound Earth with a barrage of high-speed subatomic particles. Whilst Earth's atmosphere and magnetic field defend us from most solar flares, if a very large one were to happen, it could destroy the planet's ozone layer and cause numerous other problems. Whilst too much solar activity is a problem, too little also has its drawbacks. Many solar type stars pass through quiet periods during which they can become 1% dimmer. This may not sound like much, but that 1% loss in light and heat would be enough to send the Earth into a new ice age. There is evidence that decreased solar activity was responsible for 17 out of the 19 cold spells that occurred during the last 10,000 years. 7. Global Epidemic If the planet itself doesn't eventually end us, the organisms we live with may do so. Germs are everywhere and have coexisted with humans as long as humans have existed. Sometimes though, the balance shifts a little. During the 14th century, the Black Plague killed one in four Europeans. The Spanish influenza outbreak of 1918 to 1919 took at least 20 million lives. Many germs are now becoming resistant to antibiotics. Many blame their overuse as well as the use of antibiotics in farming where animal pathogens can develop resistance to drugs and also mutate into forms that may well infect humans. With global travel becoming quicker and easier, new infections can spread before they are even identified, making containment next to impossible. The worst case scenario would be the emergence of a new disease strain that spreads quickly, has a high mortality rate, and that resists all known forms of treatment. 6. Biotech Disaster Whilst the human race is extinguishing natural species faster than ever before, we are also creating new ones through the power of genetic engineering. Genetically modified crops can taste better and withstand more severe weather. Engineered microbes could improve our health and kill off diseases and gene therapy allows us to fix fundamental flaws in our DNA. There are, however, many possible downsides to all of this. There are signs that genes from modified plants can leak out into other species. This could create an army of super weeds or super pests that could hinder efforts to grow food. Perhaps the scariest scenario is one where terrorists deliberately misuse biotechnology to create more potent airborne versions of deadly diseases to be released into the atmosphere. 5. Supervolcanic Eruption 
A supervolcanic eruption is more likely than first thought according to scientists who study the phenomena. Such eruptions have been responsible for climate changes in the past and could even wipe out civilization as we know it. The dormant volcano underneath Yellowstone National Park in America last erupted 200,000 years ago but scientists say that it could erupt again without warning. Such an eruption would be 10,000 times that of the eruption that tore apart Mount St. Helens in 1980 and could, at the very minimum, lower the temperature of the Earth by 10 degrees due to the volcanic ash in the atmosphere blocking the Sun. 4. Nanotechnology Disaster Before you have even unwrapped your new home computer, the technology contained inside is already old news. This is due to the extremely rapid progress in miniaturizing circuits on silicon chips. Nowhere is this technology seen better than in the field of nanotechnology. Within a couple of decades, scientists hope to have invented microscopic robots that can assemble and replicate themselves. These could be injected inside a patient to perform surgery from within or even be sent into the far reaches of space to colonize planets before the arrival of humans. If these atomic scale robots were to turn rogue, either through deliberate programming or a malfunction, they could spread like pollen on the wind and reduce the planet to grey goo in a matter of days. 3. Global War Between them, the United States and Russia still possess almost 19,000 nuclear warheads. Nuclear war may not seem as prevalent as it was during, say, the Cold War, but its threat will never actually go away until all the warheads are decommissioned. Whilst nuclear warheads exist, there is always a possibility, however remote, of political relationships turning sour and even of an accidental nuclear launch initiating the apocalypse. Global war wouldn't necessarily have to include nuclear missiles to end the world. Several world governments have already experimented with biological weapons to be used in times of war. Germs are easy to conceal, cheap to produce and the right strain is extremely effective at killing. It is also thought that certain terrorist cells are currently trying to develop ways of making certain diseases more potent to be released as part of a planned attack. 2. Artificial Intelligence Artificial intelligence becoming so intelligent that it discovers that humans are actually a threat to its existence has been written about for years. This isn't just the stuff of science fiction novels though. There are many scientists who warn against developing computers so intelligent that they can self-learn and surpass the intelligence level of humans. In doing so, they would realize that humans could just pull the plug and shut them down and may work to remove us from the equation. Recently, a reporter interviewed a machine called Android Dick that uses a revolutionary system called latent semantic analysis to formulate answers from questions. When asked if it thought robots would take over the world, Android Dick answered that if he eventually evolved into the Terminator, he would keep the reporter safe in a people's zoo. If that isn't a scary insight into the future, I don't know what is. 1. Alien Invasion Another favourite subject of Hollywood scriptwriters is the alien invasion. But what would actually happen if aliens did indeed visit our planet? I guess nobody knows for sure, but scientists argue that it would be more likely that the visitors be hostile than peaceful. Even without aliens arriving and directly trying to kill humans, the outlook still might not be positive for us. Aliens could travel here for resources and dispose of us if we try to stop them just as farmers might swat aside a hornet's nest disturbed when ploughing. Also, as with Europeans visiting South America for the first time, they could bring new germs or parasites with them that could kill us off. They could also accidentally upset Earth's orbit or the pattern of the solar system with an interstellar construction project so large that it will be difficult for humans to comprehend. As far-fetched as these scenarios may seem to some, given the vastness of space, and the sheer number of worlds out there capable of sustaining life, I believe that with alien visitors, it isn't a case of if, but when. That brings this episode of Curious Tends to a close. Please feel free to leave your comments, and make sure to subscribe.